Hi guys! As you can tell, it's a little bit messy in here and also there's no mast behind me. That's of course because I've put Obelix up on the hard. My primary reason for doing this is so that I can get an early start on next year's sailing season and also because I noticed how much fun Alfie had earlier this year when he put his boat on the hard, so I gotta try that, right? During my recent sail I noticed that she didn't handle like the way she used to and uh, I'd have to clean her bottom before I could sail her. Yesterday I motored over to the yard, which is only about half a nautical mile from the marina. Most embarrassingly I managed to put Obelix aground on the way over here. I'd misunderstood uh, how to get in through the shallow channel that leads into the yard. Now luckily the bottom is very very soft mud and uh, there was no damage at all. But unfortunately there were a few spectators on shore. Ugh. As soon as Obelix got up on the hard, I understood why she didn't handle like she used to during my recent sail. Her bottom was infested with enough clams to feed a small village, and also there was a lot of barnacles. So I scraped those off using a long wooden board and uh, gave her a good pressure washing below the waterline. I'm far from done, but uh, let's go see how she looks. One of the things I'll have to do something about today is these little leftover pieces of barnacle. I brushed them with a hydrochloric acid solution yesterday and I hope that has softened them up a little bit. But uh, I think I'll have to sand the hull a little bit to have them removed completely. I washed the freeboard with a special kind of soap that managed to remove these black streaks. And uh, I'll have to do the rest of the boat today, but uh, before we get started on doing that, we better scrub the decks first. My goal isn't to have her looking brand new, it's just to take care of the worst of the dirt so that I don't have streaks running down the freeboard when I've just cleaned it. I better get busy sanding those barnacles. YouTube is full of videos with guys sanding their boats, so I figured there was no reason to show you guys that magic. But uh, geez, what a fun way to spend three hours. All that sanding wasn't a lot of fun, but at least the hull is smooth again. And that brings us to the next item on my little to-do list for today, and uh, that's to see if I can remove this old log. It's not working, and uh, there's no good reason for it to remain there. I have no idea of how to remove this, but there are four screws, so let's see what happens if we unscrew those. There's no reason to waste perfectly good stainless steel screws. That seems pretty straightforward. Let's uh, take a look in the bilge. I think all I need to do to remove the log is to remove this doohiggy right here. Enough dilla-dallying. Time for a bit of violence. Wow, that's butyl tape. For me to be able to apply fiberglass, of course I need to flare the edges of the hole. The sanding disc should make short work of that. Okay, I think I'm ready to mix up some epoxy and start laying up some fiberglass. And uh, oh yeah, if you want some authentic bilge water, you can swing by and pick this up free of charge. I'm all done laying up fiberglass and uh, it turned out okay. Once the epoxy has cured, I'll sand it flush and apply a coat of primer, then it's ready for bottom paint. I'm starting to feel a little bit tired and also quite grimy, so I think the last thing I'll do today is to wash the remainder of the freeboard. This is that awesome soap I mentioned earlier. This stuff isn't magic, you still need to apply a little bit of elbow grease, but it sure helps a lot. I didn't manage to remove all of the black streaks, but hey, that's okay. We need something uh, fun to do tomorrow too. I'm gonna go grab a shower and then I'll see if I can scrounge up some dinner. After having grabbed some dinner and a shower, I feel like a new man. I know this video is probably gonna turn out a little bit boring because how interesting can you really make sanding stuff, right? 
but uh, I have high hopes for the video tomorrow. I'm gonna be replacing my uh, VHF antenna and all the cable inside the mast. I'm also gonna be putting in one of these wind instrument thingies. So that should be a little bit more interesting than sanding stuff. Oh, and uh, for those of you who are wondering, Yukul is up at my parents' place. Bringing him up and down that ladder it uh, seems like a bit of a hassle, so I'm sure he's much better off up, up at my parents' place. Yeah, but uh, I guess that's it for this video, guys. See you! Yukul and I hope you've enjoyed this video. To be notified about new content, please click subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out the introduction playlist. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment.